Santa needs his sugar cookies on Christmas Eve, and there is one recipe that rules them all. It's a staple in millions of kitchens worldwide, and my next guest says that it will quickly become your go-to as well. Cookie Queen and friend of the show, Carly Bittner, is joining me in the kitchen. Is that on your resume, Cookie Queen? It's on my Instagram. So oh, good. I feel like it's official. Your digital moment. resume. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun to think that your recipe is being it, made in so many kitchens? It really is. It's my favorite time of year, honestly, like Thanksgiving through Christmas to just see how many people are visiting this recipe and like them making it with their families, yeah. making memories, and I get to be a part of that somehow. Like, yeah. it's, it's really, really neat Especially to me. because it's a sugar cookie recipe, and it everyone is. has one. Everybody does. But everyone loves yours. What makes this one so great? So, first of all, it's, like, so easy. Mm -hmm. Six ingredients. You've got them right now. Promise. No chill. It's, they don't spread. They actually taste good. They're soft and chewy. You're not going to break your teeth on them. Like, kids can do them. They taste good without frosting. You can put sprinkles in them if you want. You okay. can do the frosting, like... So many different Here's the Cookie options. Queen test. What are our six ingredients? Butter, granulated sugar, an egg, vanilla, flour, and then baking powder. That was way too easy. Now name all of Santa's reindeer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I okay. couldn't do that one. Show us how to do this. These are darling. You've got some decorating ideas, too. Yes. Okay. So in here, I've got the butter and granulated sugar. I mixed it for about two minutes. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to stand here for that long. So next goes in the liquid ingredients, which is just an egg. I'm going to turn this on to start mixing. And then I use vanilla. I always measure with my heart. Um, you can use almond extract. You can do whatever flavoring you really My mom like. did lemon. Lemon? And my sister Sadie always says, can we make mom sugar cookies oh, with the lemon with the extract? Lemon. So vanilla, almond, lemon, choose your flavor. Choose your flavor, whatever yeah. Santa likes. Santa That's likes what them you use. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, and then we've got our flour and then baking powder. So I'm just going to slowly put in the flour here. Have you ever nice worn out a mixer? Uh, maybe. <laughs> this might be my second one, but my first one lasted 12 years. Oh, that's so, pretty good, yeah. That's so pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I actually am of the age, you can meet me here, please meet me here, mm -hmm. where you're proud of wearing things oh, out. Like, absolutely. I made thousands of batches of cookies in that mixer for over 12 years. Yeah, yeah. and I about killed the thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So flour, baking powder goes in here. Yes. And it's going to look a little bit dry. I was just going to comment in a really polite way that it kind of did. Just trust okay. the process. Okay, she's the cookie okay. queen. Because if you, hold on, you've got to go the direct, right direction. Yeah. It's a, it's a new mixer. It's new. Well, and you're going backwards, right? <laughs> but trust the process. It will come together. Okay. If you add more liquid, that's when it starts to spread. The okay. cookie dough will be spread. So we want it a little, a little dry. Yeah, okay. okay. But when it's all done and mixed, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll stop it here. Yeah. Grab some here. It should feel like Play-Doh. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. So soft, pliable. Yeah. You know? Good job, Play-Doh. You queen. can... Pack it together. Good it's job. not sticky. Good job. Any rolling cutting tips? So this will not spread. It will not rise or anything. It will kind of puff okay. when oh. it bakes. Uh -huh. That's about it. So however thick you want your finished cookie, yes. that's how you're going to want to roll it out. All right. We bake it up at? Bake it up 350. And the time depends on your cookie cutters. Because if you have baby cookie cutters, that obviously won't take as long as like sure. giant cookie cutters. So how do we know like doneness? Six-ish to 10 minutes. They're going to puff up, and puff. it's not going to look glossy and wet. You know how cookies, when they're baking, they look yes. wet yes. on the top? Once they look dry on the top and they've puffed up, you're golden. You're good. I like you're that. You're golden. You're good. My, my two-year-old's trying to learn how to wink oh, with the thumb. Oh, that's my favorite. You know? It's the, yeah, it's yeah, a twitch. Yes. It's the cutest twitch you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. All right. I squirreled. What are we doing in terms of decorating? You've Whatever got some you want. I know, but teach me that. Oh, that, those are easy. You know? Just oh, like, oh. do your little lines first. Okay. And then in between is the squiggles. The squiggles. This is the cutest, brightest stocking I've ever seen. And then... What are these bags I'm using? Oh, just They're little... just little piping bags. Okay. They were just kind of obnoxiously long, so I cut them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they got a haircut. Look at you. They got a little haircut. Yeah, mine's not looking like yours, but it's, it's okay. fine. It's fine. It's but fine. But my favorite part, you've got to try the top. What? Is this... It's like a little loop. It's this action. Show. Okay. Please show the people. Yeah. Please so show me. So you're going to go on an angle like this. Uh-huh. And loop. Like oh, that. loop de loop de loop de loop. loop. And that is the right amount of frosting ratio. Absolutely. In my world. Okay, let's look at these. Santa okay. hat. Santa hat. And so these are all circles. So you can you don't have to use like 
special Christmas cookie cutters. Like you can make them Christmassy. Look at this circle. one with I know. the reindeer, that the one's like my pretzel favorite. ears, <laughs> cutest. Yeah, and it's I appreciate the permission that you don't have to have all the oh. fanciness. How did you sugar dust that? Okay, this is so exciting. What? This is edible glitter. Oh yes. Yes. Amazon, You're so cute. Hobby Lobby. Makes, makes everything your cookie special. nice and extra. Listen, yeah. we know she loves cookies, mm -hmm. but now there's paper proof. You just came out with a beautiful new cookbook. Yes. So Tell us about this girl. This is my third one. This one is all Christmas. So this is the Merry Cookie Lover, the third book in my Cookie Lover cookbook series. This has 30 cookie recipes, 30 candy recipes. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is your one-stop shop for all things Christmas baking. I love that it's Christmas contained because there are those special recipes. Oh, the yes. pictures are beautiful, Carly. Oh, thank you. Look at all the detail too. There's a lot of information in this. There is. Where do we get one? So you can get them online, my website, cookingwithcarly.com. Um, you can find me there and on all social platforms, Cooking with Carly, and it's K-A-R-O-I. Cooking with a C, Carly with a K. a K. I know. I mean, your mom should have thought about that, but that's fine. <laughs> we love you just the way you are. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Congrats on the you. cookbook. Oh, we'll link you, you to your website so you can get your own copy just in time for Christmas Eve. Santa wants his cookies, lemon, almond, or vanilla. You know, take a gamble. I'm sure he'll be happy. Thank you so much. <laughs>